morning. <laughs> Today is an exciting day because I have my Christmas pajamas on and we're gonna get in the Christmas spirit. Um, yeah. Okay. Can you see me? Every year, I feel like Christmas comes and when it actually gets there, I'm like, well, it did not feel like Christmas at all this year. And that's because I never do anything Christmassy. So this year, that's, that's changing. We're doing Christmas shit and it's gonna be Christmas fun. And that's that. So I went to Trader Joe's this morning. I bought a bunch of stuff that's gonna get me in just Christmas. It's Chris, look, look at my pajamas. I bought these pajamas from Target. I have my Uggs on. Like this is serious. I'm so serious about this. So actually, I'm gonna save this, but this is the good one. First thing I got was these little hot chocolate sticks. You stir them into hot milk. Place hot chocolate stick in one cup of steaming hot milk or non-dairy beverage. That's what I have. I got almond milk. I don't know how you get milk steaming hot. I'm assuming the oven, the oven, the, the stove. I think I'm just gonna put my milk in the microwave. Then, what is Christmas without cookies, right? So, I bought these peppermint chocolate chunk cookies and I'm gonna make them. I'm so excited about this. A gingerbread house! Um, yeah. I feel like I checked all the boxes. A gingerbread house, cookies, and hot chocolate. And, not to mention, our Christmas tree for our apartment is coming today. It says it's supposed to be delivered by 9 p.m., but I hope it comes a little bit earlier. I also, oh my god, like, I'm so, <laughs> I also got some, like, lights, and I'm gonna string them down this. So by the end of tonight, our apartment is gonna be Christmas central. There's gonna be a gingerbread house, a Christmas tree, lights, hot chocolate and cookies in the oven. So I think I'm gonna start with the hot chocolate. Like I said, you're probably supposed to put the milk on the stove, but I don't have the time or the patience for that. So we're just gonna microwave it. Hopefully it turns out the same. I've also never made hot chocolate with almond milk before. I also didn't measure it. It's supposed to be eight ounces. Hopefully that's right. Uh, looks like a little piece of poop in there. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, now, while this bad boy is cooling down, well, let's take a little sippy sip. say it's extraordinary but it's all chocolate <clears throat> it's been a few years since I built a gingerbread house it says it comes with gingerbread house pieces icing sugar fairy tale folk I'm guessing those are like the little characters fruit gummies chocolate buttons and non per non parel non parit what I don't know what that is it is not complete. It will require the equivalent of one egg white and lemon juice or white vinegar. I don't know if I... Let me see if I have this stuff. Okay, I do have the ingredients. The gingerbread box is open. There's also this suspicious white box. I don't know what is in here. Oh, it's the little characters. Look at them. And look at this one. That's adorable, okay. I decided in the interest of time, it would be more time efficient if we were to bake the cookies first and then while they're baking, start on the gingerbread house. Put this in a bowl, soften a stick of butter, and one large egg. Okay, um, oh. Oh. Let's melt the butter. Um, okay. 
Okay, let's just like dig in. Since I don't have a mixer, this is what's gonna have to happen. Oh God. Okay, I think that works. Cookies are in the oven. Let's see if we can build this house. Okay, I need to make the icing first. M&Ms, gummy bears, sprinkles. That's a lot. Um, while I'm doing this, I thought I would tell you a little bit about Christmas in New York. Christmas in New York is so cute and festive because they decorate everything. And a few nights ago, me and my roommate we went to go see the Rockefeller tree lighting and the lights that are on the side of Saks Fifth Avenue and all that super cute touristy festive stuff. only bad thing oh ew 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 okay i need to wash my hands immediately i'll be back and continue this story anyways like i was saying the worst part about christmas in new york is all of the couples they are so obnoxiously cute and doing all of the little christmas new york things as a couple and it makes me disgusted with jealousy and i know that's bad but i'm jealous you know I feel like there's not really much to explain there, it just is. But it's fine, you can still go out with your friend, buy yourself Christmas pajamas, and make gingerbread houses and cookies alone! <laughs> uh, what do you think? Huh? Oh. Oh, okay. I built the foundation but it says it needs an hour to dry. Okay, now I think the gingerbread house is ready to be decorated. It looks so cute. Cookies are done. One of them turned out okay. Ta-da! But I burnt the other half of them. So that's that's what it is. Oh, one sec. The Christmas tree is here, so I have to go get it. I'm gonna hang on the stairs. them until later when i get back is when we'll put the ornaments on the tree and then it will be complete christmas is here i think today was a success our tree came on time my gingerbread house turned out amazing come on like and the cookies are good success um well the lid doesn't fit but other than that 